Christmas quiz. Ah! Yes, I me. forgot. It's, it's the, the Christmas, Christmas quiz. Look at that monkey. You look like Miss Potato Head. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. And we just appreciate that I'm sitting in front of a little Christmas tree. And I also pulled out a Merry Christmas Charlie Brown sweatshirt. You're welcome. I thought you guys would enjoy a Christmas atmosphere for a Christmas video. Mm. Shh. Yes. I can't think. Yep. How it's do you the know? first new one. I just know. Twenty-four. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Not Christian <laughs> Mingle, Craig. Pastor Zach has sent some of us. Um, some Christmas questions, but he told us we are not allowed to look at them until we are sitting down, ready to make the video. We're about to win. I can already feel it. What about <laughs> you? <laughs> uh, what? Best Christmas song. Okay, I'll give you a second to, to think. Okay. Carol of the Bells, right? I didn't expect that. that. No, that, I just, like I just didn't. I know it's your not like, favorite. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. That's the one, right? Yes. Yeah. Or Little Drummer Boy, because The Office. I'm, you didn't even say your favorite. What's what? my favorite? Mariah Carey. All okay, I want that's different. He is so hyped when that song comes on. My favorite Christmas song has been "Mary, Did You Know." Are right, you ready? No. Craig, there's like five <laughs> Christmas songs. First one that comes to your head, then Craig. I don't know. What, what are you not a like, Christian? Not every Christmas song. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Beach Boys this Christmas song is not. Ooh, okay, well that's Christmas. that's the one then, right? Yeah. How's that go? I don't know. It's your favorite Christmas song. You don't know how it goes. That's my that's my favorite song right there. My favorite Christmas song is Michael Bublé, Jingle Bells. Okay, ready? You're just gonna have to say one in three seconds. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Park how the bells. Grandma got run over in there. Oh my. Da, da, da. You gotta have a little soul in it. You gotta, you gotta okay. put a little. Jingle bells. No, not even. Okay, not even soul. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Park how the bells. Sleep the Best Christmas movie is hands down, no arguments, Polar Express. If you have an argument, you can see me, okay? And I can see you, but only if I'm wearing my glasses. Die hard! <laughs> I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate on this. I'm sure a lot of people will say that they like Elf or Home Alone. I cannot stand those movies. You sit on a throne of lies. Do I even need to start singing the hot chocolate song? <laughs> I won't do it to you. I'm not gonna do it to you. Three, two, one. Hold on to <laughs> yes. yes! The Polar Express is top notch. Nothing will ever beat the hot chocolate scene, the creepy dudes. Seeing is believing. The Santa Claus. Topo Gijo. What did the other reindeer not let Rudolph do because of his shiny nose? Play in any reindeer games. They didn't let him do anything, and honestly, I don't like the entire story because once he once he was useful, once his little nose was shining in the cloudy night sky, they said, ooh, Rudolph, let's be a friend. I don't like it. Yeah, but that's the answer. It's bullying. Stop calling me names! It's like, Rudolph, the red nose reindeer, how do we have a shiny nose? What's the next line? Like Monopoly. Well, I think it's games, but everybody says, like Monopoly. Like Monopoly. I don't like remembering the bad parts. <laughs> okay. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Play the reindeer games. One point for Trev. Three, two, one. They they dance and play. Uh, they wouldn't let them participate in the other games. No. Oh, I thought they were like dancing and like. I say, I seriously cannot remember the rest of the song. That is so that's so embarrassing. Join in any reindeer, reindeer games. games. I said reindeer games. You said games and dancing. Liar, liar. 
The movie Miracle on 34th Street is based on what real life department store? Macy's. Macy's. It's Macy's. Because it's like Elf. Yes. All right. They Macy's. Like Macy's. I've never watched that movie. I, I don't. I'm, I genuinely I cannot tell you a either. moment when I've ever like could go back in my. It mind reminds like, me of like Elm, Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I would say Macy's because of the Macy's, Macy's Day Parade. I, I can't answer that one either. I'm sorry. This is not off to the best start. I feel like Macy's is very well known, so I'm gonna go with Macy's. I've never seen this movie, so I have no idea. Ready? Three, two, one. Macy's. Macy's? Hey, <laughs> Macy. Yes! Oh! That's, that's why. Hey! Macy's. In Home Alone. Okay. Don't like that movie. Where are the McAllisters going on vacation? New York. I thought they were in New York. They were going to Paris. Yeah, but they didn't get there, right? I want to say that it's New York. I think that's where they're going on vacation. No, they're going from Chicago to New York, right? Or is it New York to Florida? Hawaii. I mean, come on now. Bahamas. Florida. Florida. <laughs> Paris. We were way off. <laughs> not I do not even, remember them going overseas. Not overseas. even on the right continent. <laughs> Paris. What was it How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Grinch was described with what three words? Green, ugly, hairy. Stink, stink, stunk. Obviously. Slight word. That's a song. Is that how it was in the movie too? Uh, stink, stink, stunk. So easy. Stink, stink, stunk. I think he's cute, but nobody else thinks that. <laughs> nice kid. Bad judge of character. Mean, foul, and raunchy? Smelly? I don't know. Mm. Stinky? Stinky. Stink. Stank. Stunk. Which country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Hmm. Germany. I know it's not America. It's not America. It's like somewhere France European. Or Germany. I was gonna say probably like Germany has a lot of traditions. Germany. It could be Germany. Yeah, with like cookies and other things. Cookies. And it was. Was it Germany? Are you it real? It actually was. Let's go. No, I said, it's because of France or Germany. I don't know if this is something that I'm supposed to know. I I have no clue. I'm gonna guess though. I just say Germany. Germany. Yes. Yes, it was Germany. Switzerland. Germany. What's the name Germany? Austria. Hungary. You hungry? France. What did my true love give to me on the eighth day of Christmas? Oh. Six geese a lane. Seven swans a swimming. Eight maids a milking. Eight maids a milking. Eight maids a milking, I'm pretty sure. Sure. We'll oh, no, 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 no. I gotta think. I'm gonna, did I say me to milking? Is that the yes. one said? That's the one I'm, I'm okay. going with. Eight geese a laying. Oh, was it ladies leaping? Eight lords a leaping. I should know this. One walking birds, French and three turtle dove. My camera woman is trying to give me hints <laughs> back there. And I'm pretty sure she said, okay, ready? Three, two, one. Drumming! Eight drumming drummer. boys, drumming! Uh, it has to be that. Eight eggs. I don't know. I really don't. I'm disappointed in myself, to be honest with you. The answer is your hands in the way. Maids a milking. Who, who wants that? Okay, well, I said ladies leaping. No. It's sort of there. <laughs> Not even. Nope. You got the right gender. That's it. <laughs> nope. Sorry. I thought this had been drumming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many gifts in total were given in the 12 days of Christmas song? Well, I mean, one, three, seven. <laughs> 73. You think that's really it? I think it's 73. 
You have to do like the exponential. Yeah, just going 364. Up. If I didn't learn that in eighth grade, I wouldn't know. But I got you on this That's one. Too many. 15, 19, 23. No, you have to go. So, so on the first day, it's one gift. Then on the second day, it's three gifts. That's what then I said. Then you gotta, yeah, you gotta keep adding up. I, I don't have a calculator on me, and I'm not gonna do this in my head. I'm not doing this. A lot. This is gonna look bad if I get this wrong. What are 42 there? Over half of that is is birds. <laughs> like, why do you need that many birds? Swans, calling birds, French hens, turtle doves, partridges in a pear tree. Thanks. You're welcome. I think it's 88. That sounds right. I think I did the math right in my head. 88. Final answer. 78. 78 is the final answer. Look at the math. Look at the math. I did that. I did that. In record time, I did that wrong. That's what we said, 364. What are you gonna put on that? That's a lot of birds. That is a lot of birds. <laughs> How many reindeer are featured in the poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas? There were reindeer? I thought it was just a mouse. I'm, I feel okay. like it's a trick question, it's probably zero. Are unless you? you unless you think of something else. All of them, right? On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, on Vixen. But does he say Rudolph? We're just gonna say nine. I'm gonna say all of them. Post I'm the gonna go with Christmas. one mouse named Reindeer. <laughs> Can we please look sad because of our okay. loss? Everybody hurts. The streak is over, guys. Twelve. Twelve. Are there reindeer in that poem? You know how long it's been since I read that poem? That's a poem? No, I didn't know that was a poem. <laughs> how many wise men visited Jesus when he was a baby? Now, I did my research. Cause I just did a devotion. It doesn't say. The Bible doesn't say. Do you understand what you think? No, no, no. Why is it? I feel like I'm gonna be wrong. <laughs> Elijah I'm, says three. I. Anyways, the one right before this. Um, easy goddess. Obviously, like we all know three, but is that like biblically correct? You know, all the nativity scenes have three. Like I'm looking at one right now across the living room. Mm -hmm. So we're going with three. I mean, you want to get technical about it? Just because three gifts were presented doesn't mean there's only three people. It's probably a whole bunch more. We'll just say three for now. A million. What song do these lyrics come from on a cold winter's night that was so deep? On a cold winter's night that was so deep. That sounds like a Tupac song. I'm going to be honest with you. It sounds like a Tupac song. That's my answer. Final answer. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle but isn't it Silent Night? No. <laughs> on a cold winter's night. On a cold winter's night that was so deep. I think it's the first Noel. Oh, Noel. Noel. The first Noel. The first Noel. I have no idea. Silent Night, sure. The first Noel. The yeah, I couldn't even remember the rhythm of the song, that's why. I oh, the first Noel. <laughs> no, Mr. I Only Know, Grandma Got Run Over by the Reindeer. Okay, thank you for coming to this quiz with thank us. You for coming to our TED Talk. We honestly had a really good time taking this quiz, even though we apparently are garbage and we don't know things. Uh, three we questions. Knew quite a few things. We didn't know like three questions, and that is a personal low for me. Um, I'm doing great. So, Merry Christmas. We miss you guys, we love you guys, and we hope you enjoyed this time with your family and friends. Thank you so much, I love you, and have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Christmas we subscribe. love you, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Uh, we love you, Pastor Zach, you're awesome. Merry Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Noel. See you guys later. Yeah, like 30 <laughs> minutes ago. I never got a text message. He sent you two. <laughs> That's like Pastor Zach Inception. You're about to watch the video and you're going to hear your own voice coming through a speakerphone, but it's already going to be coming through a speakerphone. <laughs>